Hello friends, how are you? This is Talisa Lindsay, y'all. I have some great ideas to share with you today. Look at these gorgeous flowers and some ideas of what we're gonna be doing with all the things I find. So if you see that little live button right up there in the corner, that means I'm live. If not, make sure you put hashtag replay. <clears throat> all right, so hello Carol and Megan. How are you today? And Susan, these florals, believe it or not, are Dollar Tree. How adorable are they? Do you guys like them? I don't think they look like Dollar Tree. Tell me your honest truth. They have these big sunflowers, which pop real pretty. Hi, Anita, next to these reds and these whites, and I'll show you where I got them from. And then here's some land's ears. Now here's my thoughts. They have a toy little um, water bucket that you could use to put all of these floral in, which would be really pretty. And then for Americana, you could take one of these chair covers and you could wrap it around the bucket itself would be really cute, okay? Like you can decoupage it and then paint this section up here if you want to. Tell me if you like that idea. Um, the other thing that I was looking at when I saw these, this right here, even though it's a banner that's hanging <clears throat> up and down, I would like to actually put that across my mantle. So I would disassemble that and then hang it where these were going across my mantle and then putting some streamers in between it. I think that would look really, really pretty with that because it's got that shape of like those bunts, if that's the correct word. Hello, Judy. Um, I picked up a few more of the bee dishes because I found some right there. So you guys know what to do and I'm gonna go find some plates that we're gonna make to match them and then here's a couple of other ideas why don't we just do this right now it's going to get loud because i think some kids are out of school if we took all of these florals and they're too long never mind if we were to pop them inside of that pretty little um water can that i just got then we could sprinkle some other ideas in there we could put one of these in there. That would be pretty for Americana, okay? And you could also put these on a kebab stick and that would look really cute to pop down in here in your floral arrangement. Hey Lynn, how are you? Thank you, Bunting. Thank you, Marsha. I knew it was something like that, but this would look really cute as well, okay? And then I'm gonna show you a couple of other ideas I came up with all this stuff too. <clears throat> Here's some fillers. Okay. The gloves you guys can make some pretty wreaths out of, which we're gonna go back in the back where the wreath forms are. And I'll show you. But this one right here, you could do something with and kind of in these, do like a little bit of a vintage wreath with these and make a gorgeous bow. So we'll go back there and see what we can find. I picked out these and the reason for it, I thought it would look fun using the same color coordination and taking these gloves and making a wreath with those. What do you girls think? Think that's a good idea? All right, let's go back here and find them. All right, so, um, I see a couple of garden things. You could paint this and add a couple of things to it and put it on a wood surface. That would be really adorable to do. So yeah, you guys go inspire others so you can get in on this week's TLC, right? We got lots of toys. The shovel, you can paint it, decoupage it, add a cute sunflower with some greenery up here at the top and some jute string. So you just add a sunflower, paint this whatever color you want, brown, black, um, white, distress it, add a little sunflower to the top, put some greenery on each side of it and put a little bow underneath it and you got yourself a cute little door hanger for the summer. How cute would that be? You can do that with the little shovel. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you're throwing a pool party, you could take these swimming rings, okay, and you could blow those up if you wanted to, and then you could attach with a string, maybe for the kids, 
like some goggles. So everybody has their own goggles for the summer and they can untie it, but you can make a wreath for it or put it in the centerpiece um, of a table, which would be kind of cool to do as well. <clears throat> and then also use these shovels. That's the ones I used. That makes another great wall hanger or a door piece. Um, you got yourself a pull needle seat so you can float. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, we have lots of pull needles, noodles, and guess what you can do with those? You can also turn those into wreaths. They're great for sticking your floral into. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh, y'all, look at the cute little gift bags. Now this, tell me if you agree, would look pretty. See that? If you were to decoupage it on the front of this, and then we could go over and I'll pick out some florals that would be pretty to go with that. What do you girls think? I'm just checking to see if there's any other right here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, heavens. <gasps> Look at this new floral print they came out with. Oh, my word. Who loves this? I love that, guys. Really love that. Ooh, and look at this one, too. Yes, the dragonfly. Throw me hearts if you love that. That kind of reminds me of something kind of vintage-y, doesn't it? All right, let me see if there's any other new. Those are all the same. No, they're not. Here's a cute bathtub. Oh, my word. Shut the front door. Look at those. Those would be shabby chic in a bathroom. Don't you think? I think they would be pretty. Who likes them? Who likes the bathtub and the cute little sink together? I think they're adorable. But I'm still crushing on this vintage. That's kind of vintage -y. We'll have to think about that. Okay. Let me grab this and let's go see what we can find in floral. <laughs> we don't find it up here, we'll go in the back because I have some more. Okay, so with this floral pieces, let's see what we can find that would match. I would say these would be a beautiful combination. Oh yeah, look at that. Hold on. Do you see that colors? So this right here would be a pretty combination to go in there. What do you girls think? Throw me hearts. Along with, because there's blues and yellows. And then we could splash in maybe some of these blues. Let's see how those look with that. Hmm. Might be too much. Well, I might have to change it up just a little bit. Maybe with some of these whites. Okay. I would take the bag and decoupage it on the actual, um, yeah, the water jug itself. All right, so these colors, those blues and whites, and then I would go with maybe, I'm gonna clean this up because it's coming all out, out of everywhere. Somebody's got a sneeze attack. Let's see what that looks like together with it. Yeah, that color ties in with all this. So I would do those blues and those whites with that kind of a purplish color. And then for greenery, I would go with, let me pick this up. <clears throat> it's bugging me. I'll put it back up there in a second. I would probably go with lamb's ear. Let's see what that looks like in there. If I can grab any out. Let's see if the silver dollar looks better. Okay. I think I like 
No, I don't think I like that one. So I think I would go with more of the lamb's ear. Yeah, the lamb's ear complements that softer green in there. So that's the color of combinations I would go. This white with this one, um, or with these flowers, because that ties in more with all the colors right there. And then I would add some of these too. Yeah, did y'all even know that Dollar Tree had all that stuff? Well, let's go in the back and see. Might even wanna pop in a couple of, oh yeah, we'll pop in a couple of those sunflowers with it too. See how that would look nice with it? That looks good with it. All right, let's go back to their floral so you can see all the stuff. I just said so many great ideas and never enough time. Isn't that true, Jennifer? The flowers are pretty. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't get too busy. How cute is this for a cute little shelf sitter? But they let school out here, so I don't know what our days are going to look like now with the kids being out of school. Normally that wall is full of candy, but it looks like they, um, they need to restock a little bit. Alrighty. We're going to come back here and see what we find. Okay, here's a few. If you're in my private group, here is the base of what we're going to need for the next couple of weeks. So if you're in the private group, there's the base. And then maybe we'll find the little houses I was talking about and I'll show you those too. Okay. I'm looking at their fabric and see if they got anything new. I don't see anything new in the fabric, but listen, you can, if you can't find this bag, and if you wanna make a pretty arrangement, you can use some of their stickers to do that with. Like they have this pretty one that's got all of these big puffy butterflies. That would look kind of cute that you could put on there. Put that back. And then they have some like these, if you want to do the purple flowers or the purple and yellow, that would look really pretty to do like 3D puffy on the outside. That would look cute. <clears throat> And then, oh, I love these florals, y'all. Look at all the pretty florals. Oh, y'all, see the sunflowers? Oh, who loves the sunflowers? Those are super cute. And then they have these cute daisies right here, too. That's what I'm calling them, is daisies. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at the stencil. I love the stencil. It's got all of the like, bohemian floral greenery on there that's pretty super cute too um looks like rainbows and then summer stuff all right so here's some more floral the sunflower is amazing y'all super pretty this color right here i love 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 that color that is really nice and looking at this bag it's too dark for it, but these colors complement it really nice. That one complements it really nice. And then you would just need something. <clears throat> it's gonna bring out a little bit of that green. So let's see what these looks like. That's, it's got that color of green in it, but I don't like it so much. But I did find something else I like over here, <clears throat> which are these. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's a fun floral. Oh, this one's going to be super, super fun. I like this one a lot. Let's see what this one looks like. Sunflowers on our coffee filters. Yeah, I've done that before. Those are really fun. Yeah, I like those too, just for here and there. I did that a couple of years ago, 
and oh, they were eat. Um, I did hydrangeas too, but it took a long time to make the hydrangeas with them. Okay. All right, so here's some of the wreaths that they have down here, the wreath forms. <clears throat> so those also would be really pretty that you can do some of the floral on. Um, and I'm looking for if they have any of the colors. I was, they have some of the mesh up here. There's the black and white polka dots, or checkered. I was hoping they had the black and white polka dots, but I don't see it. I see the purple lilac down here. <clears throat> And I see some mesh here, but it looks like they need to put some more out. But ladies, you can make a definite lemon wreath. So use this as your base or get some of the vine and wrap it around and then just put your lemons on there. That would be super easy. And then you could just grab whatever color ribbon you want to put on there. <clears throat> um, you can go with a checkered one up here that little green, I'd go with the black and white one with that yellow one. That would be pretty. Or you can just go with a simple lace, which would be my kind of thing, or black and white polka dots. Oh, that would look really cute. That you could put a bow on there with that one and maybe the chevron with the lemons. That, if you wanted to do it with the sunflowers, and this one also would look really good with the sunflowers. So you can do that as well, or the thicker one. That yellow ribbon is pretty. And here's some carnations. So see all the cute stuff you can do. Here's something, here's an idea. Let me go run the next aisle. Okay, so for summer, I have some flip flops in here. And what you could do is wrap some burlap around the wreath and then you can glue the flip-flops on here. Probably the round ones would be better instead of these. I think the round ones might be better. So if you wanna take, or you can put them up in the corner, do a burlap, put the um, flip-flops on there with a big bow but I think I would rather, yeah, I would rather do, let's do the circle one. The circle one would be much better. I don't see their complete round one, so this will work. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Jane, how are you? Um, or one flip-flop per side. Yeah, that's a great idea too, Leslie. Um, anyhow, if you want to take these and just go around in the circle, I'm sure you've seen them. The flip-flops are all the way around the circle, okay? And then you can just put a bow down at the bottom. So that would be, it did it just for a few seconds, Mary. It should be fine. You can do the same exact idea with these flip-flops. For Americana, you can do alternate it, red, white, and blue. And here we go. You can alternate them in red, white, and blue and do Americana and then do one of their bows that's pre-made up front already and have that hang off, which that would be a really cute idea too. Do you have trouble attaching them? Do you, what kind of glue are you using? I mean, you could maybe go through here and attach them that way. It depends. Or if you want to put some tropical flowers on top of the flip-flops, that would be a cute idea too. So, put that back. Look at all the cute shovels you guys can do door hangers with. You can even do a cute little floral arrangement for outdoors for the summer and one of these little buckets too. That would be super adorable and you can put it as a centerpiece on the table for outdoors. Oh y'all, look. Cute little bee. So you can make a small little bee out of these. Just get the portion in the middle to make the body and you could put that in here 
in your floral arrangement. That would be cute. I like that idea. Let's go see what they have in wood. <laughs> All right, here's some cute signs. Buckets are cute to use for chips too. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you can get one of these. Pop off this word. Put your <laughs> put your truck up there, girls, and then add some florals or whatever you want to to the back of it. That would be cute for a little sign. Let's see. I'm gonna get out of the way. Oh, they brought in the big pieces of wood, which I like because these I can stencil on, but I can also pop. I can make this look rusty if I wanted to and make it into a little shelf sitter, take off the hanger portion of it, and I can put it on the back side of the wood if I wanted to, but I could also make it a shelf sitter. So I could rust that up and it could set on my countertop like that. You did an outdoor kick out, uh, cookouts using the buckets for potato chips. Oh, that's a great idea, Judy. Very festive. I like that idea. All right, and you can do that with some of these other wood surfaces too. This one, um, this also makes a good shelf. So does the small ones. So if you see one of these that looks like a house, set that up grab one of these smaller pieces I'm about to show you and you can attach that to the back side of it paint that if you want to and you can make it a little cute little shelf candle holder shelf sitter something like that would be cute but I think I might like it better with these houses down here so let me show you All right, this will be the bottom and this will be attached to it. And that's what it would look like. And then you could put a little candle greenery or whatever else you wanted to there. Anybody like that idea? Throw me some hearts if you think you like that. I would probably stencil something with my Magnolia stencils from that on here. I think that would be really cute. You could also do it with this house and make your own little top that goes on it okay or you can attach the cross to the base of it and then what else we could do same thing you can find these pieces right here you can do the same exact thing um, <clears throat> I'm looking around. You can add these words to them. So if you want to add the word family, oh, that's perfect for a little shelf sitter right there, girls. Look, easy DIY right there. Simple and easy. But you could also attach it this way. So whichever way you want to use it, you can do that. Rust these up and attach that. Any of those little words. So they have happy, smile, hello. You can also do it to the tulips. I like the little metal houses. You could probably do it better with the metal house, which would be um, Sherry, the stackable ones. We're gonna be using these. Let me show you really quick. There is, they have one hole, two holes, or hearts. So I can get one of each of these to do it with. So that all three of them will be different. So we got that one, that one, and I like the shape of this one. I hope, I wonder if they have another heart. I'd like to trade it out for two of those. Oh, they do. So here's another heart. I like the hearts better. So I'll do two of these and I'll do one of these, I think is what I'm going to do. 
that's what we're using. I've seen the flip-flop reefs and some of them can look really pretty. It's just in the way how you make it look. Okay, this one, not too bad of an idea. Not too bad. Alrighty, let's see if there's any other small surfaces that this might go up against. The rainbow would look cute. Actually, the wood truck. And so would this pretty cross. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> My one-handed skills are impressive. So take this apart and attach the wood truck to that. That would be pretty for a shelf sitter. And so would this one, but just flip it this way and attach that wood cross. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. So you have that wood cross, this wood cross, and you could even paint this white with red stripes in the background and maybe paint the cross blue if you're doing your Americana. That would be really cute. And the same thing with these thankful signs and family signs. Um, yeah, they fit as well. So that's another idea that you can do with those. <clears throat> and then these, oh, there's just so many ideas you can do with those. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And look at the houses down here. This also would be perfect. Look at that. I like it. That would be super cute for a shelf sitter. I like that one. And you can also do it with the white one, but you can just paint it if you want to. Nope. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I see oh, a couple of other, okay, 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 okay. Now this is what I'm thinking. This, I'm trying to think, this would look really good for a shelf. Definitely a shelf. This has to be a shelf on something. It could be a shelf setting on this. Here we go. That you could set a candle on. That would look super cute with the crosses. Yep. See? And you could stain those, do whatever Americana theme. So you could do red, white, and blue. Again, still with these. And if you're into all these cute ones, you can also still make it a little shelf. Just attach it to it to that rim of that base right there. That would be super cute. Okay. <clears throat> I love this color of pink. I just wish that their paint colored well and it doesn't. The green's fun too. That one's my favorite. <clears throat> Absolute favorite. Okay, another thing you can do with these. If you see any of these canvas. This one's in burlap. So you can stencil on these or add some little florals. All right, this one might be too big. Let's see. But you can use the reverse canvas and put this on the inside of it for a shelf in there. So it would look like this. Stain the outside of the frame, stain your wood, and attach that right there in the, in the middle of it. And you can make yourself a floating shelf. And then you could put a cute little candle opera in there. That would be really adorable. That's probably one of my favorite, favorite ideas right there. Okay, let's see. I got the wood there. Put the wood here back. Oops. Let me fix what I just knocked off the shelf. And let's go see what we can find in kitchenette. And these right here are perfect to add to any wreath that you have already instead of having to buy the full um, several pieces of the foam floral, you can take this, split it in half, go around the rim of your um, wreath form, and it will let you stick your flowers in there, okay? It'll, it'll, you can literally pierce, you can literally pierce, put it in there, and put your floral in there for your arrangements. So there's another great idea. Throw me hearts if you like that idea. Okay, and then these would be great to also cover the star wreaths. You can just wrap them in these 
scarves that probably only take about two of them. Um, and it's really inexpensive and really cute idea. Same thing with the B and the black and white one, depending on what theme you want to go with. And you can mix this in with some Americana, which would be adorable. Oh, they have the t-shirts in, y'all. I can be doing a lot more stenciling. Oh, I'm taking this one. Look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. This would look super cute to have a stencil on it. Do you see it? It's like the baseball tee with the white sleeves. Y'all like these? Oh, those are adorable. Every once in a while, you can find some cute ones. That's a size, okay, the one I just got was a medium. So I'll grab that one. They have some adult large. They have the gray and the baby blue. Easy peasy as right. Some pretty bags. There's some more pretty bags, y'all. Same thing with that. You can make a pretty wreath out of. You can just shred that, cut the fabric up, and attach it to your um, wreath by just tying it on, actually. Won't even need any glue. <clears throat> All right, who's ready to go see what we can match up with these pretty little bee dishes that I found? I think we're going to be... Okay, let's see. I think, you know what? If you were to go with this floral arrangement in the middle with your bee dishes, I bet you that this would look pretty. Look, that would look really nice together. If you were gonna be doing that floral arrangement right there in those colors and you popped it with the red, that would be super adorable, don't you think? I think that would be. I mean, you don't have to agree with me, but I think it looks good. All right, I'm just curious. They have some lemon dishes here. Well, if you cover up the lemons, that's too, that's busy. <clears throat> That's really busy. All right, they have some of the gold chargers in, but guys, keep in mind that you can paint these. They don't have to stay gold. So you can paint them whatever color you want, but they don't look too bad. But I think I like the red the best so far. I feel like it really pops with all that <clears throat> that's going on. So I would suggest maybe just get yourself a clear plate. Let's see what it looks like on top of the wood. Let's look. Let's just look. Let's do the red on top of the wood and the red on that one. Hmm. What do y'all think? Do you like it? What do you think? No, I don't, I don't glue any of my plates together. No. Let's see what it looks like with a clear. I never would have thought of putting those combinations together. I just, my mind races all the time, so. There's that one, but you really can't tell a difference. Or you can go with The turquoise one, it's not too bad. I'm putting it up there so I'll know what it looks like. Let's do the blue. No, you like the red the best? How many of you like the red the best? Let's just for kicks and giggles see what it looks like with red, a blue. And it pops really pretty. That's not too bad. So I say the red and the blue looks pretty decent if you're gonna do that color combination of floral. You just have to pull them out and decide, you know what I mean? You have to look at them together and see. 
So I say red or blue. And let's see if they have any black dishes. They have, um, they have one. Let's pop it up against there and see what you girls think. I think the red looks best. The blue does look classy. I agree with you. I do agree with you, Cindy. It does look classy. Okay. So I say red. Red or blue? Well, at least you guys voted on which one you like. Okay. And then look, they have the little glasses. I will not ship those though because they're much, they're kind of thin and I'm afraid they'll get broken. So, but those are pretty. I like the designs on them. Ooh, and I really like these trucks. So you can use your clear plates if you're gonna be using those pretty placemats. Get your glass dishes to use on those. That way you can enjoy your placemats. Let's see if they put anything else new. The bamboo. That's also perfect to make a shelf sitter with as well. Those are perfect for that. I don't think I see any new storage containers. No. Oh, the mason jars, y'all. They brought the mason jars back in. There's so many good things you guys can do with these. I love the mason jars. Oh, and look, this is new. It's a reusable snack bag that you can wash out. How pretty is that? Super adorable. Um, this store stays pretty organized. They're pretty good about it, but it's one of the larger ones. It also has a self-service checkout. So um, they're talking about this one possibly turning into um, a plus, which I would love, but they do have some plus things as far as food items that they've brought in here. Um, they just haven't brought any of the products in yet. So I don't know if it's gonna be a demand or something that they do. But anyhow, friends, thank you for joining me today. Again, make sure you put hashtag replay. I love your thoughts just as much as um, I love your ideas. So make sure that you share them with me as well. Y'all have a great Friday and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye.